Okay, the batteries were dead, so you missed what I just did. But by the way, we're back out of here. I got the belt on. Put fluid in here. Uh, obviously, the ignition is disabled. Cranked it around and cut the wheel back and forth a bunch of times with them off the ground. Uh, that causes pretty much no resistance to the uh, system but it allows the fluid to pump since it's a positive displacement pump and fill all the cavities. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work on this real quick. That's a jumper wire. This is the lug from the heavy wire going down. Boop, see it coming down there. And this is the lug for the little exciter wire. Okay guys, we're going under. Ah, it's nice. It's nice when you got a lift and you can work under a car. You know why I'm doing this? I don't want to hear no crap from anybody. I hear crap all the time. You gotta lift. It makes it easier. Yeah, sure does. What are you looking at? There'll be nothing I'm working on. Let's see if we can find the right wrench first. Then maybe I'll prop something under there. Okay. My light doesn't point in the right direction. Yeah. That's right here. Is the main wire coming down that we made. We made the eyelid on the end of this. It doesn't suck to get to. And you got these. And your hands are 25% bigger than everybody else's. Yeah. Sure it does. Does it keep me from working? No. That sucks. <laughs> That's all the way over there. But, uh, yeah, that sucks. Let's see if we can... That just destroyed that. It's gonna land in the center of the core. Myth. Now do we wanna put this one under? I think we will. So we're gonna put this lug under the lug. This is where I wish, I wish I had another hand. But you know what, I don't. And most of the days at work, I'm surrounded by people and I don't have another hand. It's just life. Life can suck. You can give in. Or you can move on. It's okay to give in every once in a while. Take a break. That it is. But you gotta know when to stop that break or you have to have people to tell you now's the time to stop that break, dude. Because if you continue, you're gonna have problems. Some of us don't have those people. Some of us do. And some of us have those people and don't want to listen to those people. And just want to fight with those people. That's called being in denial. And what do you think I lost? The world's smallest nut and the world's smallest lock washer which you're not going to be able to see this would be a miracle if it wasn't in the blurry spot to begin with it'd be a real miracle if the wire stayed there see now if I was smart I'd crawl back out and get a piece of tape but I've never been accused of being smart just a smart ass And no, I don't have the air conditioner on. And no, I don't have the heat on. I don't have anything on. And no, this is not a moaning or a bitching video. This is a you could do it video. I don't want to hear no shit. I can get my fucking hands up here either. Video, how's that? 
Now I could say, hey Junior, get your ass out here and put this on. It'll be good for you, you'll learn. Boy. So I can listen to him bitch and complain. It's easier to listen to myself bitch and complain because I know when to shut up sometimes. Like I said, I know you guys can't see. It'd be a miracle for Lockwash I was still on here when I was done. So I think that's it. Okay, the bolt in the palm of my hand. It would have really been nice if I would have pre-bent this wire. How sweet would that have been? If I go like that. Oh yeah, there you go. That'll hold it there. Oh, damn. We're smooth sailing now. Now I gotta pick up the world's smallest lock washer. One hand. Put it on top of the world's smallest freaking nut. And get in between an area that was designed for the guy that does the Big Mac commercial, the Whopper commercial, the guy with the freaking small hands. Unless you really think the Big Mac is that big. You know what? I'm not lefty, but guess what? I can't do it lefty either. You know what I've learned over the years? If you got something on the tip of your fingers and you're wrestling with it, and you're wrestling with it, I mean, for more than a couple seconds, just drop it. So you're gonna drop it anyway. As soon as your hands cramp off. So you must have just drop it. And start again when you're not pissed off. Closer to losing a lock washer. I think the lock washer just joined Elvis. Has left the building. Sorry. Yep. That's safe to say. Oh, fuck, I found it. <sighs> Let's get a little circulation back in the shoulders. Oh, so it's good on here. <laughs> no leaks. As long as I keep the light off. What I should have did was I should have put the lock washer on the top side of the wire. Having so much fun. You feel like, ah, fuck. I got a lock washer at least. But is there not? You realize that building it is half the fun, right? you realize that if you had a half a brain, you would have put this wire on before you put the starter in the car. I've done more shit twice because of the way things worked out. So 
sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes you gotta skip stuff just to do something to get you excited again. Because you start to lose interest. There you go, in the project. <sighs> Crap. That sucks. Ugh. Guess who left up? Ratchets. Oh, and for you guys that aren't aware, anything Husky is returnable. We we're starting to learn that. Junior had an air hose take a poop with the coupler. Actually, the coupler took the poop, but by the time we got the coupler off, the air hose was damaged. No questions asked. Junior got himself a brand new air hose yesterday, a brand new coupler. Because they said Husky on them. I'm liking that. He had a latch go bad on one of his toolkits. They gave him a whole new tool set. And not no, we're not talking no 20 piece set. That was like a 200 piece set. Drill bits, Husky drill bits have a year warranty. Like I said, I'm beginning to like Husky. Their wrenches suck. I don't think the... Thinking that's good. Is that why we... Well, 12 millimeter this other one back? Getting to this nut is a piece of cake, but when the wire wasn't bent in the right direction, holy Christmas. I think we did okay. So I wanted to find out. Do you guys want to see what we're talking about all this time? I don't know if you guys can see. Right there. We still gotta put the nuts in here. Pull that out when we did the training legs. Okay, let's climb up. Okay. No more of this. No more of the buttony thing. We'll roll that up. This is no wiring. See? No additional wire. So we got the solenoid hooked up with the neutral safety switch into the harness. We already tested it, it has to be in park. Uh, we already tested it, it has to be neutral. We didn't test the reverse lights, but I'm assuming they work. So I had it backwards, I would have had an issue the other way. Okay, we just jumped that wire over so that other solenoid should energize as soon as that hot wire energizes. There's pros and cons to that. Sounds good to me. Uh, a shitty job, but we got it done. It's all the little things. Okay, let's take off. I'm still taking this battery off because I still haven't looked at that pin switch. It's coming on the list. Once we start conquering wiring, we'll be inside. You, if you look right through there, by the master. Okay. <sighs> 